I'm willing to bet that your story is more powerful than you can possibly realize. Hey, by the way, I'm Kyle. I'm the host for Share Your Story, one of the seven proven practices here at Crossroads. Your story has power. And you might hear that and be like, yeah, I'm sure it has some power. But I want to put it into context for you. In the Bible, there's basically two types of speaking. One is teaching. It's instructing people on stuff. It's sort of what I'm doing with you right now. It's what I might do from a stage or other people. Teaching people. It's important. It's in the Bible. It's a spiritual gift. All those things are true. And it's not the most powerful form of communication in the Bible. That belongs to testimony, which is a fancy word for sharing your story. If you think about the word testimony, it, it's a derivative of testify. I'm just saying what has been true for me. I'm testifying to my experience. There's a verse I want you to look at in Revelation 12, 11. I'll read it for you. It says, they triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. What does that mean? Well, the they in this verse is the believers and the him they triumphed over is the devil or Satan or the evil one. The, the point is, the weapon that defeats the enemy is not teaching, it's testimony. See, when you share your story, it's not just sharing a story as you would any other story. When you share the story of what Jesus has done in your life, it carries spiritual power, power to break darkness, power to break strongholds in people. And so today, I wonder, is there anybody in your life you might come across who is currently in a spot of, frankly, bondage, frankly, just being stuck in their life from a spiritual darkness that surrounds them. And you could be the person who walks in, shares your story, and moves them to a new place. That's the power that your story has.